All right, guys, welcome to your 44th video. And in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to create one of these panels right here. So you see these different panels that say items, trades, messages, my account. Well, all of these panels right here are the default panels for every single user. However, on this website, since it's such a huge website and it needs kind of monitoring by managers, certain users are going to be assigned the role moderator and administrators. The users who probably develop the most, help with the site, they're going to be granted the privileges and it's kind of not a privilege because they're going to be responsible for watching over everyone, deleting spam, approving posts, so on and so forth. So what I did is I made them a separate panel, which you can't see in this video because I'm just logged in as a normal user, but they have a separate panel called moderator at the top. And instead of this, you know, blue background, navy blue, theirs is red. And instead of things like active, pending, add item, which any user can do, they have special things like, um, you know, approve spam or excuse me delete spam look at reported items so on and so forth so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make that panel and once you guys understand how to make that panel you guys are gonna understand how to make all these panels items trades messages my account there's only one little bit of code that's different to make it blue instead of red so the first thing that we need to do is we need to query the database to see if the user viewing their my account page is indeed a moderator so this is how we do that result equals my sql query and of course put my double quotation marks so in the users database they each user gets assigned a certain role. Now, I can't remember what the default role is. I think it's just called a user, but some users are going to have the role mod or admin. So that's what we got to look for whenever the users, you know, query running this query. So select all from users where, of course, user underscore ID equals my, yep, that's right, my ID and because of course this is going to return everywhere that it queries your ID so it's going to return one row no matter what but we only want to query it if role equals mod or role equals admin now if you guys are wondering what's the difference between an admin and a mod an admin is pretty much the god of the website they can do anything they can ban people they can delete people's accounts a mod has a lot of power but not as much as admin a moderator on this website is going to be able to you know delete spam delete certain posts but they aren't going to be able to you know delete users or you know like change the style of the website or something so that's the difference and of course you can't be at mod and an admin it doesn't make sense so that's why I query this so if you are a moderator or an administrator then what should happen is this should of course query one row successfully and let's go ahead and test for that right now so if this does query one row then that means that you have the privileges so if my SQL num rows and of course we need to pass in a result set right here is equal equal to one which pretty much means equals one then that must mean that you have the privileges or you are a moderator or an administrator so what do we want to do in this instance well we just want to go ahead and display that moderator panel because you know we don't want to show it to every single user we only want to show it to the moderators so only if you are moderator or administrator then echo your panel pretty cool so the panel for this is div and it has the ID I hate when I do that I actually hate putting all this crap in double quotes but I actually need it okay so div ID and this is mod nav and this div right here is just for uh, spacing div so that divs for spacing now next thing I'm gonna write a span and all this span does is it surrounds the um one second I can't type and talk at the same time it surrounds the uh, title and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about the header you know this one says items this one says trades messages my account you see how it's kind of white with a 
it has kind of a shaded background. That's all it does. This span is called nav headings. And it just makes that uh, title look cool. So the title for this panel is moderator. And, and that span. So now our title looks cool. Now what we want to do is we want to list all of the options. So you see in the trades panel it has four options. Offers received, offers made, declined, and completed trades. Well, in this moderator panel, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you guys how to uh, first make the options. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you guys why I wrote all of this code because I know a lot of people are saying you know what you could have just made a loop or a single variable or an array or something but I cannot think of a way where I can do this I don't know if I'm just uh, you know going crazy or just looked at this code for so long but I know I have a lot of subscribers so I'm hoping that one of you guys could fix the problem that uh, I can't solve so that's what I'm going to teach you guys what I did in this video and hopefully one of you guys will come up with a better solution because I know this is messy and I know it looks kind of useless so you know I'm relying on you for that. So what I did is I put all of those options like offers received, offers made, declined and completed trades in an unordered list. So of course my unordered list and I just put the class is menu and this isn't the problem right here. This is just for styling purposes. Now the reason that I made the unordered list is because um you know like I said for styling purposes so each of those um options is actually of course a list item probably didn't even need to explain that you need list items in unordered list now what I did is I made them a link to you know add item offers received so on and so forth so the first link is a href equals and what's the first one mod underscore pending and this link is where the moderator can go if you are a moderator and pretty much review all of the items that are pending review do you want to approve them or if it's like porn or spam or something then you deny them and they don't get accepted to the website so let me just go ahead and write pending and that's where the problem is but I'll explain that guy I'll explain that in the next video so now what I want to do is uh okay I'll explain all of this I know that I'm saying you know I'll explain it in the next video but I need to go ahead and uh, in detail explain everything so I can't really do it right here so pending variable all pending and to end this we'll just go ahead and end the link like that so this is the style I have right now and guys all this code is pretty much good in my opinion it's this code obviously that we need to clean up so anyways let me go ahead and recap one last time why I did the things I did and in the next video I'm gonna explain to you guys why I have a problem and why I am begging for your guys help so basically all we did in this video is we wanted to make a panel for the moderator so of course the first thing we need to do is we don't want to display it to everyone only the moderators and administrators so if you are a moderator or administrator then this is going to be one and then you're going to echo out the panel now the div is just for spacing to you know make sure it appears on the left and at the top so on and so forth this is just to make a cool title and all of the links are put nicely neatly and nicely into an unordered list so none of that is really bad the bad thing is this and I'm gonna be talking about that like I said in the next video but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and please check out the next video and uh, yeah everything will make sense then